A new species of whale has been discovered by a collective of researchers led by the University of Auckland, Waipapa Taumatarau. Niho Ngore turned up. I knew that was something different. Um, I hadn't seen it before. I just kept the pressure on um, with the Department of Conservation that um, this whale is special. I recovered the whole skeleton at my, uh, at my home in, in South Westland at Okorito. And 12 months later, I took it to the muse- to, to Papa. Ramari Stewart is a renowned whale expert who was raised by her elders in the traditional Māori knowledge of the sea. One of the original specimens used in the research originated from South Africa. What we have is both genetic and morphological evidence that true-specked whales from the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere are distinct species. And with new species comes a new name. And we really wanted to connect this new species for the Southern Hemisphere with the peoples of the Southern Hemisphere. And in particular, uh, peoples that are connected or inhabit the lands where we draw our samples or specimens from for this new species. We approached Indigenous groups in both Aotearoa New Zealand and South Africa, which are lands from which, from which important specimens have been drawn. In Aotearoa New Zealand, researchers approached Matauranga Māori cultural advisor Bradford Harmi. Everyone felt that Ramari, who uh, really identified the species and, and actually uh, you know, did all the hard work to find it and uh, prepare it uh, for identification, that, uh, that her name should be placed on it to recognise a lot of her mahi. But it also, it's a female whale. Um, it also will be the first time that an Indigenous woman has had a name uh, attached to a marine mammal species. Guided by the Khoisan Council, a name from the Kwedam language, meaning big fish, was chosen. Eyo, eyo. It's wonderful now that Western science is starting to recognise that Matauranga Māori, which is indigenous knowledge, is, is equally as great as Western science. And the two can work together, but rather than bridge that relationship, you know, um, and keep taking from indigenous practitioners, taking their knowledge, it is better that we both sit at the table and make a contribution there. Ramari brought enormous knowledge to this project. She was the first to recognise how special Nihonori is and that set us off on a journey that has ended in a new species of whale for the Southern Hemisphere. She has prepared Nihonori for Te Papa and essentially prepared this treasure for the whole of New Zealand. Uh, and it goes to show what can be accomplished when you collaborate and work alongside Indigenous knowledge and Masaranga Māori.